Hey everyone, I'm a big blaze. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can evolve your profession skills, how to make a lot of gold, and how to become a master crafter. In the war routine, profession got extra attention, and I'm loving it. I leveled 8 characters and each one I invested my points in different specialization. In this expansion it is very easy to get knowledge points and start crafting items with your professions. If you don't know how to start, check this video to make your life easier. If you like this content please like and subscribe. Let's start. So, there are a lot of things to remember while doing professions, especially if you have a few alts that you need to manage as well. Weekly crafting quests, treasure points, treaties and a few more things. The next few tips and tricks will definitely help you keep things on track. The add-on weekly knowledge is a really simple add-on that will show you everything that you need to know on your alts professions. You can see all of your characters and which profession they have, the skill level and of course if you completed your treaties with specific character, if you completed your crafting quests and treasure. You can also keep track on the dark moon quest when it's active. This is a really simple add-on that will definitely make your life easier. The second add-on that I recommend is Andy Notes for the War Within. This add-on is amazing for treasures and secrets that you need to find on the map. Among the things that this add-on show, you can also see where is the unique knowledge points that you need for your professions. I don't know why, but you cannot find this add-on through the CurseForge app, so download it from the site directly. The last add-on that you need is Craft Sim. This add-on is really good when you need to know if you can craft an item on a specific rank. Heads up, this add-on maybe looks complicated, but it's truly not. When you want to check a specific recipe, you need to check this box and then the magic happens. For example, you can see the expected quality and how much skill points you are missing for the next rank. You can also see how much concentration you need to make higher rank. A cool option that this add-on has is the material optimization that shows you what is the best combination of materials rank to make the best reachable quality item. There is a lot more options so make sure to check this add-on. There is one week hour that I really like for professions so I add to show it. This week hour will help you manage your professions weekly and unique items. You can click on the profession that you want and the week hour will show you which items you still didn't get for the week or in general. Blue color for weekly and purple for uniques. Something cool that this week hour does is to mark on the map where you can get the selected item and a small explanation about it. Just for clarify, as you can see, I selected one item and I can see a short explanation about it and a pin on the map on where to get it. This is a really useful week aura that helps me keep track on everything connected to my character professions. There is a link in the description if you want to use it. So now that we are done with everything that we need to keep track on with our professions, there are a few tricks that will definitely improve your profession skills. The first trick will help you get extra 100 artisans equity and it's something that you don't want to miss. I did it on almost all of my characters and there is no reason you shouldn't do it. This trick requires a free profession or one that is low level that you can replace. Don't worry, you can replace it when you are done. The trick is to take enchanting and level it to level 25 with disenchants and few crafting. When you reach to 25, you will probably have a few knowledge points that you got from the leveling. Choose the fourth specialization and use five of them on the main node. This will open the next node that you need, Deceptive Decoration. And you will also get new illusions recipes that you can craft. 
Every recipe that you didn't get from the trainer will give you artisan's equity when you craft it for the first time. In this node you will get new recipes until level 15. New illusion recipes equal more artisan's equity. After you finish crafting the illusions, you got 100 artisan's equity and now you can replace this profession. If you want to get more artisan's equity, the next tip is definitely for you. This tip will take you to the extreme and it's not for everyone, but it's still good to know. Tip number two is to use professions weekly to get more artisan's equity. For example, when you reach level 25 with each of the gathering professions, you have a chance to get knowledge points when you gather. Each knowledge point item that you get will give you artisan's equity. This is something that you can do on a weekly basis. On top of that, you can do this with every profession every week. This is called profession shuffling. If you have the desire to get a lot of artisan's equity, you can repeat this way with every profession. Honestly, I think it will take too much time, so for me, tip number one is more than enough artisan's equity. The next tip is huge for your profession abilities and I wish I knew it earlier. Tip number three is to get rank five of profession tools. This can change your gold income by a lot. This is something that a lot of players miss for two reasons. The first one is that they are lazy and don't want to find a crafter that can make those high level tools. The green ones that they can buy from the auction house is fine by them. The second reason is that they just don't want to spend 300 artisans equity on higher rank of profession tools. The reason this is a valuable way to improve your profession abilities and gold income is because those higher level tools provide a lot of profession skill. Higher skill level means you are closer to make max rank of materials. The difference between rank 5 and rank 3 tool can be the difference between making 300 gold to 2000 gold. Make sure you don't miss it and craft it as soon as you can. Overall, I really like the profession system in this expansion. There is a lot of min max and a lot of ways to get gold and good items. If you have more tips to improve professions, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. If you are still here, you probably like this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be a lot more videos and guides when the season starts. Thank you for watching. Peace.